Ready? Phil? Yep, I am. Let's do it. Let's go. Feel a day over 49. That's all right. No gray hairs, Evie. You're doing all right. Redheads don't get gray hairs, Phil. Oh, exactly. It goes white. Oh, there you go. This is great. <laughs> but your hair is looking white. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you back later. All right. <laughs> um, yes, but we're not here for my birthday. Well, we are, but we're here principally for this stunning, it's truly stunning. Unbelievable. I'm sure I know. I can't, I can't believe it when I look at it. It's just shocking. Come on. <laughs> Gorgeous, amazing Ball Family Reserve Axis by Music Man. Isn't that tasty? It is lovely, yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. Lovely yeah, it is gorgeous. Roasted maple now. And it was actually my birthday guitar, because you know, every year I buy a birthday guitar. Mm -hmm. And I'm still looking for this year, so I haven't found it yet, but I'm looking. <laughs> but um, no, there, you know, as you know, there's a few I'm thinking about. But there you go. But. Um, this was my birthday guitar for my 47th birthday, and it was in Jimmy's, of course, and it was the principal sum of 4,100 euro. Uh, that's what it would be, brand new. brand new, brand new, and I got it for substantially less, we won't go there. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the brand new actually on, I think it was on Tom or one, they're about 4,100 for the Axis BFR. Mm. Now they don't make, I don't think they make... Um, the Ball Family Reserve thing, I, haven't, I think they've changed that now, I think it's something else. Have they, yeah? I'm not, well, I know it is with the Petrucci's, it's a different kind of vibe now. But um, the Ball Family Reserve was basically, as you can see there, Ball Family Reserve. Yeah. It was this kind of um, extra attention was lavished upon these. Well, doesn't that mean there was actually... A Ball Family they, member they was actually touched, checking it out and he, he and signed it off, yeah. He may have, he may have glued even something. glued something or put on a <laughs> knob or something. Who knows what he did? Sterling Ball, or, or, or you know, one of, his sons. one of his sons, yeah, would have touched this guitar, yes, yeah, so which that's quite cool. There you go. And as you know, it was designed in conjunction with the master, Eddie Van Halen, mm -hmm. designed this with Sterling Ball. Mm -hmm. And it is just the most playable guitar I own. So it's a bit like a telly pole, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, you yeah, never most, feel most the telicity. You, and the telly up the You top. never feel the telicity that's from it. Yeah, but that's a very short scale. Oh, it's such a short scale. Are, scale. The exactly. Scale of 25.5. So. It has to be the best design guitar ever. It's just so ergonomic. It's so gorgeous. And I mean, I, I'm stunned. I'm, I'm stuck for words here, but we, I'm going to turn around <laughs> just so you can see the back of it. Look at that bird's eye maple. attention to detail. It's insane. Bird's eye maple. And it's bird's eye maple from hell. And also they call it a, is it a toasted or a roasted neck? I can never a roasted remember. Roasted Yeah, I can yeah. remember which toasted. Toasted neck. But um, yeah, <laughs> roasted neck. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Plays like butter. Plays like a dream. And even in these small little details, like, you know, just the, the um, tuners, I mean, this little, um, Mother of pearly type effect going on yeah, there, you know, it's, it's gorgeous. Nice, yeah. And um, I, there was an official name, it's actually on the case. You get a big, beautiful black case with this guitar as well. Mm -hmm. And it was like um, sun, autumn y, sunburst y kind of name. Oh, so it tells you what the. Yeah, it actually tells you the name of the right, colour, okay. but it's just. But I'm going to actually just have my like polishing cloth as usual, because I love to polish guitars. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Polishing straight, but it's nicer to hear them. True, that is true, that is true. <laughs> That's why we're here. That is true, it. that is true. But, um, yeah, so this is the um, very Eddie Van Halen-esque Axis. Before I start, I must mention the push-pull-pot thing. Oh, yeah. That? Yeah, so that's a single coil. 
if you yes. want it. Which, yeah, can be, can be nice. And you're going to play clean, a little and bit of clean. And you've got no tone knob, it's just a volume Yeah, knob. well that's, that's yeah, Eddie, yeah. he'd say he wanted no tone, doesn't, doesn't use no it, doesn't need it, yeah. yeah. Again, a pragmatic genius. <laughs> Even though I love my Morses. Yes. Morses? I love my Morses, but this is just so playable. So you prefer the Axis over the Morses? If there was a fire, I would run in. I have two hands. Yes. So I grab my Gibson Reissue 59, because it's just worth a lot Around of money. Nine, yeah. It's actually an investment of worth, worth money, even though it's not a great guitar. It's okay. And I would grab this. Mm -hmm. And with my foot, I would try and pick up <laughs> using the strap and drag out both morses right. around my feet. Yes. Oh, I also use my back to put a few guitars on as well. <laughs> and a martial head. Okay. No, but I would. Uh, <laughs> I would save this and I'd save my... I love my EC1000 by LTD as well. <laughs> you're so basically I'm, saying, you just save all your guitars. Just, save just grab them all and, and run out with them. Yeah, but um, yeah, so um, I'm sorry if this is just gorgeous. It's just... And the pickups. Uh, they're called ceramic pickups. Does that make any sense? It's a you? ceramic magnet. Also. Ceramic magnet, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, especially wound, especially made for Eddie's uh, tastes, and, and they they're just absolutely gorgeous. They're not high output at all. Yeah. But they have a great crunch to them, you know. <laughs> It's just such a gorgeous guitar, so I'm gonna actually go clean now. So what's the pony made out of? On this I have track? no idea. No? So you know that, Phil, you know these things. I'm not a music man, a fictionado, yeah. so I, I wouldn't have looked up the specs to tell you Fair enough, fair enough. I'm, I actually don't know, mate, I don't know. All I know is it just sounds so gorgeous, even with this lovely single coil. You can hear the hum. Hear that yeah. hum? So they're very ballsy pickups yeah. and they do lots of squeechy squealy squee, squeely 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 stuff yeah <laughs> but it's just a great all-rounder guitar it just does everything you want <laughs> Nice 
nice kind of um, just light sounds on it. That's your still single coil, are you? Uh, no, I'm actually I'm I'm, I'm up here. Yeah, I'm just up here as well. <laughs> Beautiful guitar. It's probably the well, the best guitar I've ever owned. I think. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's big words. Uh, well, it's better than the Gibson anyway. You know, easily because um, you know I'm not a huge Gibson fan, but uh, I did get the best Gibson has to offer pretty much, didn't I? One of the best. Well, the yeah. R9s, you know, they created great to, guitars. To, to yeah. Be yeah. As and closest I, to the originals. This blows it away. I must uh, talk about the neck as well. So slim. Everything about this. It's like it'd be a great guitar for a, a kind of small person. Exactly, yeah, it is a very really, small scale. Yeah, They're all really, really small, small scale. scale. That, the music they are, it. yeah, but it, it, they benefit from that, you know. I think the biggest guitar I've ever owned, and I owned it for a week before I got rid of it, was the Jeff Hanneman ESP by, you know, the Slayer. Yeah, yeah, the, that, that's right. That, yeah. um, uh, what's it called, a uh, signature model? Yeah, yeah. It even had a signature up on the neck. It was like a beast. It was yeah, just it was a very massive. The the neck was like a seven string neck on it, and it was still a six, six string, and it had the Kaler and stuff. It was just insane. Great if you're a mad metalhead, but this is just much nicer, just for everything, you know? A bit more refined. Absolutely, yeah. Gorgeous, just so sweet, such a great guitar. <laughs> A lot of time just polishing it. You do, yes. It. You're just looking at it. <laughs> it's just one of those guitars you just want to look at all day and just stare at in the door, you know? <laughs> so, yes, yeah. you, you yeah. snap out of it, Dave. Oh, come yeah, on, exactly, come on. Yeah. Get back in. Yeah, it's just your basic chord. <laughs> There we go. That is my favorite guitar, which I've been dying to review for ages. <laughs> And um, now that finally got there, yeah, finally got there. But it just keeps been in a few videos, though. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's appeared yeah, in a few videos. We'll but um, I would recommend this guitar to anybody mm. who wants to to get that just perfect playability, looks, feel, very ergonomic. It's a lovely. You just want to just hold it and hold it and squeeze it. And the skinnier necks on the skinny, yeah, it's really skinny. Even the body is tiny as well. But yeah. It's such a beautiful piece of wood. I mean, it's a premium guitar, it really is. And these come in the regular, you know, the regular axis without the BF4 kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah. And they also come in the Sterling, which is the um, kind of Korean. Yeah, 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 which are fine. They're excellent guitars, actually. I tried one and I thought they'd be, you know, a little bit kind of wanting, but they're not. Mm. They're just made in Korea, as far as I know. You know, so they're totally, they're not made in the... Um, yeah, it's not hand-selected woods, yeah. you know. What's that say there? It says made in uh, San Luis... Louis Obispo. 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 Yeah. California. Yeah, so that's these are Californian made, so you pay for them the, obviously the workmanship, you know. So that's why it is quite expensive and gorgeous. And I'm gonna go back to a bit of metal. Sorry, Phil. Let's just have to change this back over again. Right. Two seconds, and we might just try something nice. Ready for a bit of metal? Oh, I think I am maybe check. Oh yeah, baby. I feel it. Thank you. 
Texas? Oh, this one's coming out. I'm shine it. This one. <laughs> yes. So that's uh, anything else you want to add there, Phil? Well, I think you said it all. I think I did. Stand Music Man is Dan's number one brand. Talk soon.